Hi guys, in this video, I'd like to show you how to get started uh, developing Pebble application. To do this, you will only need your browser, an iPhone or an Android device uh, with the Pebble application installed and a Pebble. Uh, it can be a Pebble Classic or a Pebble still. To build your first app, we're going to use Cloud Pebble. Cloud Pebble is a hosted development environment. And um, you just need to go to cloudpebble.net, click on the sign in button and link your uh, Pebble account to Cloud Pebble. So it might ask you for your username and password. And once you um, put them in, you, you'll get to your uh, Cloud Pebble dashboard. So we're gonna create our first project. So go ahead, click Create Project. And now uh, I'm gonna build a Hello World project that seems very appropriate. You can create two types of project, Pebble CSDK, um, which is what we're going to do today. And uh, SimplyJS is for uh, application completely written in JavaScript. And that's something that we will discuss in uh, more videos. Uh, you can, can choose a template. And today we're going to use the Hello World template because it already includes a text field to display information on the Pebble. So let's go ahead, click Create. Um, and Cloud Pebble automatically creates a new project and automatically adds a new file, hello world.c, in there. And so we can click on that file and start editing it. So we have our entry point, our uh, main function, the traditional C entry point. We have uh, another function here to initialize the screen, another one to deinitialize the screen and release memory when, when we leave the app. And you can see that what we're doing is very simple. We're just going to create a window, create a text layer, um, set some property on that text layer, add the text layer to the window, and finally push that window to the screen. So I'm just going to make uh, a, f a few changes here. I'm going to change the text. I want to say, hello world. And I'm going to use app logging. So I'm going to... Um, uh, push information to the app logs and we'll see how to get them and hello word from the app logs that's will be my message so now i can click save and uh, if i go to the compilation tab here on the left i can click run build and we'll build my app and hopefully it will compile yes it did and um, now i'm going to be able to install my app directly from my browser so to do that you need to uh, go to your iphone and um, uh, I'll show you how to do that on Android as well. So on, on your iPhone, you first want to go into the settings of the phone and you want to look for the Pebble application, Pebble here. And you want to turn on developer mode. So that's what I just did. So now you can go back to Pebble. And now that you're in the Pebble app, uh, you can go to your menu here and you have the developer option menu. So go ahead, click on that, make sure it's on and look at the IP address. So here it's 10.01.102. I'm gonna put that IP address in here. And now I can click install and run. It will automatically connect to my phone. So my browser is using a WebSocket connection to my phone and it automatically pushes my app to my Pebble on the right here. And now if I click on the view logs button in Cloud Pebble, I get real time log from my apps. So as you can see, we get our hello word from the app logs. And if I go to my Pebble, I leave the app and I restart it. You can see that I get the, the log again. And every time you exit the app, you get some memory information about your app so you can detect memory leaks. On Android, you just need to open the Android app. And on the main menu, if you go into the settings, you'll find a developer options menu and here you can enable developer connection. So check that and now uh, go back to uh, your main menu and here we have that new developer uh, item. And if I click on it, I can disable and enable the developer connection and I can also see on what IP address my phone is listening. So if I go here and set this IP address and now click install and run, it will work just like it did on iOS and install the app and then I can view the logs. So that's it. That was a very quick introduction to Cloud Pebble and Pebble development. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, uh, please uh, click on the thumbs up button and let us know in the comments what kind of resources you'd like to see about Pebble development. Thank you very much. Have a great day.